Hey there, fandom fans. This is Mae Vanders with Fandom Spotlight's Fandom News Roundup. This week in the world of fandom, there was a focus on confirmations. Rumors we've reported on before were either debunked or confirmed. Think you can handle the truth? Then let's get to it. A short time ago, we reported there was a rumor that Michael Keaton would be reprising his role as Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, for Ezra Miller's Flash movie. Flash's solo film will be focusing on the ever-popular Flashpoint storyline. We can now confirm that Keaton will be joining Miller for the film. Keaton is set to join filming for the film later next week. Keaton's Batman reportedly will be joined by Jeffrey Dean Morgan's Flashpoint Batman. Actress Amber Heard has debunked the rumors that she is being replaced as Mara in the Aquaman sequel. Heard shared a photo on her Instagram of herself on the set of Aquaman 2. Her co-star Jason Momoa even commented on the photo. Many believe she would not be returning due to her public court case with her ex-husband Johnny Depp. There were even Twitter campaigns demanding her removal. It would appear that Warner Brothers isn't as concerned with this Twitter movement as it was with calls for the Snyder Cut. Another rumor has been confirmed via social media. This time we can confidently say that Knuckles will be joining Sonic and Tails in the Sonic the Hedgehog sequel. Photos were uploaded on Twitter of life-sized models of Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails on the set of the second film. If these models are a predictor of what the CGI versions will look like, we think fans will be pleased with them. We all know what happened when they weren't happy with the CGI last time. Speaking of confirmations, Peruvian politicians are hoping to get confirmed by securing the otaku vote. You heard that right, nerds. They want you. Peruvian politicians Jorge Hugo Romero and Milagro Juarez have taken to cosplaying in order to garner votes at the polls come election day. Romero dressed as a member of the Akatsuki, known to Naruto fans as the villains in the series. They're also known for being anti-government. Milagro took her cosplay up a notch by dressing like a Suka from Evangelion and then singing an OP from the anime. We've seen a man from Japan dressed up like the Joker for votes and a woman Naruto run in Congress. Is this the new hot trend in politics? Netflix has released its character trailer for its CGI Resident Evil series. Resident Evil Infinite Darkness intertwines horror, action, and suspense presented with beautiful and realistic visuals in this brand new entertainment epic on an unprecedented scale. Resident Evil Infinite Darkness releases worldwide in July 2021 only on Netflix. Just when you thought they were running out of ideas for films, they hit us with another one. Vin Diesel will star in Mattel and Universal's film about Rock'em Sock'em Robots, the iconic game where you and a friend fight as robots until you sock the other's head right off. The film version will have large-scale robots duking it out. Now what does that remind me of? The beyond talented actress Helen McCrory passed away this week. McCrory has been battling cancer for some time. She cast a spell on fans with her portrayal of Narcissa Malfoy in the Harry Potter films. She also played Aunt Polly on Peaky Blinders, Madame Callie and Penny Dreadful, and Valentina Villefort in The Count of Monte Cristo. Our thoughts go out to her family, friends, and fans. Disney has been all in with turning their animated classics into live action reimaginings. Its live action origin film Cruella will debut on May 28th of this year. Cinderella's evil stepsisters are the next villains to get a feature film. Actresses Kristen Wiig and Annie Mamolo will be playing the wicked pair. Mamolo and Wiig recently worked together on Barb and Star go to Vistal Del Mar. No word if Lily James will return as Cinderella or Kate Blanchett as their mother. We know now that Amelia Clark isn't replacing Amber Heard in the role of Mara, but that doesn't mean Clark isn't replacing someone. It has been announced that the Game of Thrones actress has signed on for the Disney Plus Secret Invasion series. Secret Invasion is a story about how scrolls have infiltrated Earth, the Avengers, S.H.I.E.L.D., S.W.O.R.D., and more. Will Clark be playing a new character or a scroll disguised as a new character? You made it to the end, fandom fans. I guess you could handle the truth. What story will you be telling your friends about? Share with us in the comments and on our socials. Remember to stay safe and come back next Friday for more fandom news. Or else. Just kidding. But you can check out these other videos over here. You can subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit that notification bell. Follow us on the socials and visit our site at fandomspotlight.com. As always, have fun and follow your fandom.